find all points on the graph of f at which the line tangent to the graph of f is parallel to the line 3x minus y equals negative 5. Given this function, f of x equals x cubed minus x squared minus 5x minus 1. Since we are looking for lines tangent to a graph, we will need to find the derivative of f of x. And looking at this function, we will only need to use the power rule to find the derivative. So f prime of x equals 3x squared minus 2x minus 5. Now that we have this function, we can find the slope of any tangent line that we could need on this graph. But we need a very specific tangent line. We need a tangent line that is parallel to the line 3x minus y equals negative 5. So if it needs to be parallel, then we need to find the slope of this line so we can then figure out what slope we need for our tangent lines. When you solve this line in green for y, you get y equals 3x plus 5. Solving this for y now shows us the slope we need will be 3. So over here, usually how it works is when you substitute a number in for x, you'll get back some slope. Right, this will equal some slope of a tangent line. But in this scenario, we know the slope of the tangent line we are looking for the slope is supposed to be 3. We need the x values that give us a slope of 3. So I am going to substitute this value 3 in for the slope of the tangent line in our derivative, and we will solve for x. So add 3 to both sides you get 3x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals 0. This quadratic expression then factors into the quantities 3x plus 4 and x minus 2. And this is still equal to 0. When you set each of these factors equal to 0 and solve for x, you'll get two values for x. x equals negative four-thirds and x equals two. These are the x values for which we will get a tangent line with a slope three, which is what is being asked of us. We need to find a line that's parallel to this one, which has a slope three, so our tangent line slope should be 3, and we went through and solved, and we got x equals negative 4 thirds and x equals 2. Now going back and looking what is being asked, it says find all points on the graph of f. Points refers to two coordinates, so we have an x-coordinate, we have a second x-coordinate, but we are missing two y-coordinates for these points. In order to find the y-coordinates, we need to take these values and we need to go back to the original function and substitute them into the original function to find the y-values. And when you do that, you will see that you get the ordered pair 2 comma negative 7 and the other ordered pair negative 4 thirds comma 41 over 27. Here are the points where you have a line tangent to the graph of f that is parallel.
to the line 3x minus y equals negative 5.